Welcome to Arizona Living. I'm your host, Danielle Lerner, and we are swinging into fall with a trip to Tee Box Indoor Golf Club. But before we hit the links, here's a look at what's coming up on the show. We head south to a piece of paradise tucked in the Santa Catalina Mountains. How one organization is a champion for Arizona children. Plus, design advice for Scorpios. That and much more coming up on Arizona Living. We are here at Tee Box Indoor Golf Club in Cave Creek, a new and unique entertainment venue here in the Valley. Joining me now is founder Jim Buckland. Thanks so much for having us today. Oh, thank you, Danielle. Welcome. Now, when I first heard Indoor Golf Club, I really didn't know what to expect. So how do you explain this spot to someone who's never been here? Right, it is a little d difficult to explain and you really have to experience it for yourself because it's almost a little overwhelming. We have a very large facility we have 11 indoor Trackman hitting bays. Uh, we have a beautiful restaurant and a bar and a large outdoor patio where we do events and live music. It's an indoor country club essentially, but it's open to the public and it's really a comfortable place for everybody. Yeah, it definitely has that feel when you first walk in right away. And you founded this uh, venue out of personal experience with this technology. Talk about what led you to take that next step and launch something like this. Yeah, so it's kind of an interesting story. I've built a TrackMan simulator in my home, and I had such a great experience with it. It was so fun, and it was very Im impactful on the improvement of my golf game that um, I wondered why there wasn't somewhere to go and do this because it was kind of expensive. And so here we are. Um, we figured I'd create a solution for people to be able to have the same experience that I did. And for maybe those out there who aren't quite as familiar with this type of technology, what makes this so special, so unique? So uh, the technology platform is called TrackMan. Uh, it's a Denmark-based company that uses Doppler radar to track the flight of the golf ball, and they depict the image of that onto a high-definition impact graphics screen so that you can practice. Uh, the Doppler radar measures the club golf ball interaction so you know exactly what's going on with your swing. And if you know exactly what's happening with your swing, you then know what you can do to improve it to improve the result. And so there's the learning aspect, skill development aspect uh, that's very powerful. And what they've done is take that capability and make it uh, a virtual golf environment where you can play on about 100, there's right now about 400 courses. Uh, we have them all and you can play virtual golf. It's just like being on the golf course. It's very, very fun. Yeah, it's really immersive once you're in here. Um, for someone out there like me, who maybe is a little nervous to even get off the putting green right. sometimes, what sort of skill level are we talking about to come and enjoy yourself here? So, so that's what's great about it really, because a lot of people don't play the game of golf because they feel like it might be a little embarrassing or it could be too difficult. And so we provide a great platform where people can come in have a little bit more of a realistic golfing experience to develop the skills good enough to be able to play outside, but do it inside virtually first. Yeah, something for everyone, absolutely. And I have to say, when I first walked into your facility, your bar area is beautiful. So we have to talk about your full service kitchen and bar you have here. Yeah, so we, we call it the Scratch Kitchen and Bar. We have a full menu, we have a 40 tap system where we have uh, premium beers and wines on tap. We have a mixology team that uh, comes up with great cocktails and everything is designed to be very comfortable, very casual, to have a really great uh, scratch meal, right? Fresh, high quality food. Uh, and great drinks. So it just adds to the ambiance and to the enjoyment of the place. Now folks don't have to come in and golf. They can come in and enjoy your food and bar if they want. Oh, 100%. In fact, uh, we've come up with a, a short phrase recently that you don't have to be a golfer to fall in love with Tee Box. We have a wonderful restaurant and bar un unlike anything else in the area. We have happy hour uh, four days a week, all day, Monday through Thursday, and two to six, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, absolutely, the restaurant is here for the public for sure. Yeah, and as you look around, it's really set up for community, for connection, for that social gathering. So what sorts of groups do well or would enjoy this type of space most? Yeah, everybody. We've had uh, corporate outings here. Um, we've had groups up to 200. Uh, we can actually uh, handle a little bit more than that. We've had um, uh, small team building events, birthday parties, everything you could think of. We have individuals that come in and just practice wanting the TrackMan data so they can improve their game. It's just a lot of fun. It's a very unique experience. It's actually uh, 
far better value than what you would think. So if someone out there sees this and thinks, I have to go check this out, what's the process? Do you have to make a reservation? How do they do that? Yeah, so our website is tbox.club and you can make a reservation there. You can call uh, the phone number and we can do it for you uh, over the phone. Um, but the facility is so large that really most of the time you can come and, and, and just have a bay available, but it's always better to make a reservation. All right, well, Jim, thank you so much for having us out here and sharing this venue with us. And if you at home would like more information, just head to their website. Ventana Canyon Club and Lodge is celebrating 40 years in Southern Arizona. And as you're about to find out, it is a premier spot for golf, dining, and relaxation. There's something so special about this environment. It's the scenery, it's the nature that you're surrounded with. But I think more than that, it's really, it's the people. It's the members um, are so special, the relationships here. And I love that our guests get treated like members during their stay here. We are a very unique setup with both being the premier club and then offering a boutique lodge at the same time. And together they really, that dual identity really complements each other beautifully. We're actually also a, a new membership partner with preferred hotels and resorts. And that allowed us to offer an even higher standard of luxury. There are a multitude of reasons why you would consider to be a member at, at Ventana Canyon Club and Lodge. And first and foremost, membership is gonna grant you access to two premier golf courses designed by Tom Fazio. Uh, we have outstanding tennis and pickleball facilities, dining facilities, fitness, spa, um, and you're gaining access to all of those in addition to unique and, and exclusive dining and social events. There's just this deep connection here amongst the members that really creates that home away from home feel. And it's that extension and that deep rooted community and connection that people want. And that's why people join clubs. Deciding between the mountain course and the canyon course was no easy task. Uh, both golf courses are just masterfully designed by Tom Fazio, um, and both really offer a unique golfing experience. I think together, Ventana Canyon really provides a golfer's paradise. You know, both golf courses are so different, um, but just create such beauty and challenge for all levels of play. We are proud to actually have both a uh, tennis pro here at the club, but also a pickleball pro, um, offering clinics, lessons, um, and fun programming all year long for our members and our lodge guests. This really allows our family and their friends um, to come out and experience the game. Tucson foodies and out-of-towners alike can expect an elevated culinary experience that's really focusing on celebrating the flavors of the region. Uh, Chef Devin really has a focus on fresh, locally sourced ingredients, and that shines through in every dish he creates. So I think whether it is a casual meal by the pool or a gourmet dinner in our restaurant, our, our diners are going to experience a, a culinary event that is creative, seasonal, and very satisfying every time. To learn more about Ventana Canyon Club and Lodge, uh, please visit our website at ventanacanyonclub.com. Stick around, we have more coming up from T-Box Indoor Golf Club in Cave Creek. How one organization is helping to keep vulnerable children safe and a Valley veteran finding her way back home. For nearly five decades, Child Crisis Arizona has been supporting vulnerable children in our community and working to create strong families. Here's a look at how you can support their mission. Child Crisis Arizona helps children, youth, and families all across the entire state of Arizona. We focus on safe kids and strong families. We have so many programs that are assisting children, youth, and families with crisis, intervention, and prevention services. 
There are so many unmet needs in the state of Arizona, so Child Crisis Arizona is here to respond to the call. We are providing shelter services, foster care services for all of the children, youth, and teens in foster care, and we're even serving 18 to 24 year olds who age out of the foster care system. We're preventing those children, youth, young adults from being homeless. We're standing here at the Fostering Bright Future Center. It is a wellness center for children and families who are 100 to 200% below the poverty level. We are inviting in all of our nonprofit friends to help us provide services for those needing them here in Arizona. There are so many opportunities for everyone in the state of Arizona to give. You can give back by volunteering. We're always looking for volunteers to teach classes in our new ballet studio. We're looking for people to teach mindfulness, yoga, nutrition. We're also looking for people to come in and teach gardening skills. So there are plenty of opportunities for individuals to volunteer. Another way to give back is Arizona Tax Credit Program. There are at least five different tax credit programs that you as an Arizona resident can give to. All you're doing is taking your dollars that you would pay in state taxes and you're moving them to a nonprofit. And Arizona can give to Child Crisis Arizona for the foster care tax credit. It's a win-win. You give, but you get those dollars right back. When you consider giving to the foster care tax credit, you are not only helping children in the foster care system, but you're helping children, youth, and families throughout our community. All of our programs at Child Crisis Arizona benefit from the generosity of folks who consider gifting their tax credit. We have education programs for families and children, especially early education. Those children seeking opportunities zero to five, they're in class with us each and every day. More than 300 children are receiving services and their families are participating in family education classes and getting the tools that they need in order to be great parents. Our vision is simple. It's safe kids, strong families, niños seguros y familias fuertes. Please come to our website, Child Crisis Arizona. Home is Where It All Starts is an organization working toward a future where every Arizonan has a place to call home. Here's a look at how veteran Kathy Mason found hers. I was 18 when I went in the Army. Uh, I didn't even go to graduation because it was the same night that I had to fly to basic training. Kathy Mason joined the Army in June of 1966. My platoon in basic training, which I was very proud of because we won marching competitions. We were the best of the best. <laughs> and as life would have it, Kathy would need the military again decades later when she was facing another tough situation, homelessness. Kathy was forced to live in her car when her husband needed memory care far from where they lived. Fear and uncertainty eventually led her to reach out to the Veterans Administration for help. I got a hold of the VA they just walked me right through everything. If you're a veteran, um, what you want to do is first get with the Veterans Administration, ask about the VASH program. After filling out paperwork, Kathy was referred to the City of Glendale Housing Authority to help her find an affordable place to live. Glendale has been a vocal advocate for veterans and for people experiencing homelessness. Once you're in the program, you do get to choose what city you would like to go to. A specialist will work with people like Kathy to make sure they have housing that meets their needs. A housing voucher is then issued, which covers rent and utilities. Funding is provided through the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Once I've started reaching out, every person I got in contact with, with in every organization, they turned me on to other places where I could get help. It's like there's this huge network of help out there. Mason says without the VA and the city of Glendale, she doesn't know what she would have done. Her caseworker made all the difference. I issued her a voucher um, to go out and start her search um, for her new home. It's really simple. 
We walk you through everything. The Glendale Housing Authority says the city needs additional affordable rental options. There are many out there that developers and such that can take advantage of the tax credits, um, which help with uh, affordable rents and building the, the type of housing that will accept affordable rents. Having a home that meets her needs has made all the difference. This home has, is, is what I need, everything I need. Bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, living room, laundry's real close, the mailbox is close, the, even the parking, was, my sign parking is close, relatively speaking. While Mason says this is her me time in life now, having a home allows her to continue giving to others by crocheting hats and blankets she donates. And of all the places she looked at, this apartment felt like home. It's feeling safe, it's feeling secure. It's really a gift um, that they would do this for me. I just love it. Don't go away, we have more coming up from T-Box Indoor Golf Club. We continue our design for your Zodiac sign series and the importance of gun safety when it comes to moments of crisis. Parker & Sons is celebrating 50 years serving Arizona homeowners, and they want to include you in the celebration. For their 50th anniversary, Parker & Sons would like you to share acts of kindness. They want to collaborate with local nonprofits and organizations to make an impact in the community. Head to the website to submit your act of kindness and join Parker & Sons in making a difference. A new campaign to prevent suicide is raising awareness in the community by promoting gun safety. We put this campaign together, Gun Safety Saves Lives, for a number of reasons. And one of them is looking at the impact that guns have on suicides in our country. Of the roughly 50,000 suicides in 2022, 55% of those, or 27,000 of them, had a firearm involved in the suicide. And why that's important is because when a gun is uh, used or is involved in a suicide attempt, about 85% of the time the attempt is successful. Suicide or suicidal ideation thoughts is, is a process that a lot of people go through. It, oftentimes it's not just a one-time thing. It's something they've been thinking of for a while. And oftentimes it comes down to, as we've learned, a crisis point. They just get to a point where they feel that crisis. So it's an immediate feeling that somebody has. They want to do something about it. The other thing we learn is that feeling often passes relatively quickly. So the importance of that when we're talking about safe gun storage and, and proper gun storage is removing an immediate gun from the equation oftentimes is enough to have somebody move beyond that crisis point, begin to calm back down and not go through with the thought that they were having. So having a gun properly stored, making it not as readily accessible certainly leads to folks being able to move beyond that crisis point and come out the other side and, and potentially look for help. You know, firearms are an important tool for a lot of our professions, our law enforcement, our military uh, professionals out there. And we know that military people especially deal with a lot of PTSD issues. The troubling stat that we found that was in 2022, of the roughly 500 service members that committed suicide, a firearm was the primary method that they used to commit suicide. So again, this message is uh, even more critically important for folks in our, in our military service and our first responders because they have that firearm so readily available available for them. You know, we've entered this day and age where relationships are many but very thin. We're in the social media environment where I have a lot of friends that really aren't my friends, but their, their opinion of me is very important. I think part of what we want to do with this campaign also is say, um, it, it may take a little bit of courage. If you see somebody that you feel may be in crisis, you need to reach out to that person. You need to tell them that they need help or you need to get them help yourself. There are a lot of resources that are out there. Again, part of what we're hoping to do with this campaign is bring them into one place so folks can look at it. It's important to understand about this campaign, Gun Safety Saves Lives, um, that we're not here to talk about whether firearms are good or bad. They're here. We live in Arizona, a state that is very rich with firearm history and culture, and guns are very prevalent. So this campaign is not to say something about whether firearms should or should not be there. We're tr simply trying to say that if you have a gun, 
be safe with your guns so that you, your children, and your neighbors are safe and we can help save lives. If you'd like to learn more, I hope you'll visit our website, which is www.gunsafetysaveslives.com. We're teeing up more Arizona living from T-Box Indoor Golf Club after this. We learn how to design for the Zodiac sign of Scorpio. Parker & Sons is celebrating 50 years serving Arizona homeowners, and they want to include you in the celebration. For their 50th anniversary, Parker & Sons would like you to share acts of kindness. They want to collaborate with local nonprofits and organizations to make an impact in the community. Head to the website to submit your act of kindness and join Parker & Sons in making a difference. We continue our series designing for your zodiac sign and this month is all about the loyal and charismatic Scorpio. Welcome back to our zodiac room series and we are in Scorpio season. Now in Scorpio season, we are in the thick of it when it comes to fall. This room is really warm and moody and also kind of dramatic. What I love about this space is the use of rich colors, from the burgundy on the walls to the black sofa, also the dark accent cabinet in the corner, not to mention the really rich colors that we see in the rug with shades of reds and browns. The prominent shape used in this space is round. We have a beautiful round dining table with curved back swivel chairs. We have an arch cabinet as well as rounded bar stools with the bar table off to the side, not to mention the arch mirror that is behind one of the sofas. As always, you can find everything in this room and more at AFW.com or in store. We want to thank everyone here at T-Box Indoor Golf Club for hosting us. Really such a great venue for golf, dining, and just a whole lot of fun. So make sure you check out their website for more information. I'm Danielle Lerner, and we'll see you next time on Arizona Living, where we help you live an inspired life. <music>